Yes, people, what's good? You done know your boy Jets. I'm back with the late night chill talk. How you mean? Food for thought. Inner standing, inner space. Dirty walk. Scrackle. Yeah, mum. Just wanted to big up the sisters, them. Um, from Noise and Banter. Pod and Party. For a lit show. Yeah, man. That show was bad. So I just want to big you lot up. It's on my way back from there now. Taking a little scenic route. And yeah, I really enjoyed myself. And it made me think. Ah! Uh, hey, listen. <laughs> See this chill talk? <laughs> listen, ladies, let me get in the light. Let me get in the light, in the video light. Yo, ladies, ain't nothing wrong with spoiling, babying, nurturing, pampering, Catering to your blood clot, man. What happened to you? <laughs> you look. What is wrong with putting your man in a high priority? Putting your man's happiness and comfortability at a higher priority. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with catering to your man? Hmm? Now, let me tell you something, because some of you lot got this... this High chest kind of argument. Well, if he ain't put a ring on it, then he ain't getting husband. Listen, why is he going to put... Why is he going to make you a wife if you haven't even displayed? Why is he going to make you a wife if you haven't displayed that you have those abilities? Yeah? A woman for look after a man. Not true, boss. True, true, true. Yeah? Obviously, a man is going to look after his woman. But the mothering, nurturing angle... Needs to be respected, cause you need to put some respect on that. Women, I felt like at this podcasting that I was at, right? This live podcasting, it's like the women were pissed when another woman turned around and said, "Yeah, I think that we're missing a point where, yeah, you need to nurture and baby and care for." And it's like the room went cold, and I thought, right, I thought we all in here loving on each other. I thought like. The men were loving on the women and the women were loving on the men because some men were speaking up for some women's type of rights and some women's type of scenarios. The men was like, yeah, I think a woman should do this and yeah, big up the women and... You know the usual shit. So I'm like, all right, cool. But you see, as soon as it came time, yeah, to show the man them a little love and the girl was just like, oh, yeah, you need to love your man and rare, rare. Big up you lot. Yeah, as soon as, it became, as soon as it came... Yeah, people sitting in the dark. You know what I mean? As soon as it came time for the woman to like say, yeah, you need to put this extra energy and whatnot into your man to make sure the relationship lasts. Yo, why was I the only one clapping? I was like, woo! <laughs> I was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah, I was the only one clapping. And bear the women were kind of silent or not really feeling it. And I don't know why that is. I don't know why a woman... I don't know why you new school women think... That catering to your man and pouring into him is some bad thing. What the fuck? If you're not doing that, who do you think is going to do that? Listen, man. This is why... Not the only reason why, but this is why a lot of the time... These girls get ignored. These new school girls, they get ignored because they act like they want a man. They want a king or like, yeah, I like the way you have handle things. I like the way you talk. I like the way that you... You know, you carry yourself and all that. And they want all that. And then as soon as the next guy talk about, yeah, you got to look after your man and cater to him, they start pushing up their face. So what the fuck do you think you're going to do with a man like me? Or demand them? What do you think you're going to do with them? Listen, man. There's no space for pride or pridefulness in a relationship. Obviously, always have your dignity, yeah? And always demand to be treated like royalty. But when it comes to... Man and woman, uniting, you have to put that pride thing to the side and deal with the truth, deal with, you know what I mean? Deal with a righteous vibe, like, and that means that, yeah, you might have to roll up his sleeve and pop, pop the pimples on his back, cook him a dinner, wash his clothes, give him some pum pum, chuck him a head, you know what I mean? Chuck it just like, for no reason, to say, yo, listen, yo, brother, what are you saying? Let me just chuck you some head, and just chuck him some head. You know what I mean? You don't even want nothing back. Whatever. I'm just saying, catering to your man. True talk. 
catering to your man. Don't make that be a forgotten art, ladies. Yeah, we're going to get onto the men soon. But I'm not going to do this whataboutism where as soon as I start saying what the ladies need to do, as soon as I start saying what the ladies need to do, they start telling me what the man them need to do. We're not playing that game. So we're going to chat about that in another episode. <laughs> but big up the sisters, though. Definitely. Big up the sisters. I'm just saying, it shouldn't be such a vibe killer for a woman to turn around and say, yo, you have to cater to your man. And she used a specific word, baby. And I know women cringed. And they're like, ugh. Because basically the context of the conversation was, because we ain't got too long, yeah? The concept, context of the conversation was, why do relationships get rocky when, they, when, when a, a child is in, um, involved? And a lot of us came to the conclusion, it's about time, it's about the initial commitment that they had to each other in the first place, it's about what they were attracted to each other for. Was it sex? Was it attention? Was it blah, blah, blah? A baby coming into the equation obviously changes things from that dynamics and therefore you can see why some relationships don't make it past having a baby. Boom. That's all good. But then when the woman turned around and said, yeah, well, yeah, there's that, but there's also... You need to know how to look after your man. And just because you've had a ute don't mean that now, oh, yeah, you just need to focus on the, on the ute. How does that work? How does that work? You new school women, you can't handle too much. You can't multitask too much. You can't be a mum and still be a wifey. For some reason, the wifey duties must end now. Car, you've come with me now. I've got this baby. So now, I can't really be a wifey like that to you. I'm just going to be a mum. Fuck with that! <laughs> Who is that? Yeah. Fuck with that, mum. But anyway, obviously, as you can see, I'm in a little vibesy mood. Catching a little joke. Don't mean to offend no one, but if you're offended, sucks on. Um, but real talk, big up the empresses, the sisters that already know this and been doing that and don't get it twisted. Enough of us can still get catered to and still act a fool in that. I'm not saying, I'm not saying that every man is grateful and I'm not saying that every man is deserved of being treated like a king if he's not playing his king position. But just in general, as a, te as a speaking subject, as a speaking point, I'm saying true talk, yeah? Let's normalize women nourishing, pouring into, catering to, yeah? Pleasing their man, yeah? And the way that I wish I could use the words that the sister dropped today, because she dropped them words so serious. I wish I could use them words, but my haphazard way is, yo, ladies, don't feel a way to spoil your man and let it be known. Yeah, man, you clip your man's toenails, you make him food, you rub his back, you rub his head, you chuck him head, you chuck him pum, yeah? You let him know, you send him messages, you send him pictures, you let him know that he's missed and loved, and you just nurture him, man. Cause a lot of us, as much as we're men, a lot of us are like men child. So we got the we got the dual personality. Yeah, yeah, we're masculine, but we got the mature and the immature. We got the one, we got the the aspect of us that needs to be nurtured. The aspect of us that likes to be looked after. Not even need is a bad word. Likes to be looked after. And the more that you pour into a man like that, especially if it's the right man, the more you'll get out of him. So yeah, I'm going to leave it like that. Catch me on Instagram. Jedi Online underscore. Catch me on Twitter. Jedi online underscore it's all one word catch my daily live streams monday to friday sorry for me yeah catch my daily live streams monday to friday on triluminati live yeah and um yeah man i hope you have a great week ahead you know monday rat race whatever you lot are doing self-employed vision boarding dreaming getting together colluding scheming plotting Whatever you lot are doing for your Monday, I wish you all the best, man. And hopefully, you know what I mean? We can link up at some point in the week and hold a conversation. Yeah, man. I'm out. Peace, love, unity, all that good stuff. Sk